I have another flashlight review I want to share with you today. This time it is the C8L from the flashlight company Sofren, a budget flashlight with all the features and quality of the better known name brands. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, just before we begin, I want to thank the company Sofren for sending me this light so that I could share it with you. So the backstory is Sofren reached out to me some time ago to see if I would be interested in reviewing one of their lights. I did some background research. I looked at other reviews. I looked at their catalog and all the specifications and I agreed. And the reason I agreed is I felt that this is, or at least at that time, appeared to be a high quality light, but at a much lower price point than a lot of the other lights that are on the market today. And I felt that was worth sharing with you. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go down to the tabletop, as always. I'll go over the performance and physical specifications for this light. I'll go over its modes of operation, and then, of course, we'll get outside and do some testing. So just before we take a closer look at the Sofren C8L, I thought I'd share with you what it came with. So this is the box the flashlight arrived in. Simple cardboard box, of course, less is more in this case. But inside the box, we have to start with the obligatory instruction and warranty information right up front. This will be one of my cons towards the end of the video, and that is it's not especially easy to understand the instructions, but I'll explain more about that in a moment. It does come with a USB Type-C charging cable, which is great. Actually, this is a longer than a lot of the ones I've had recently from other flashlight makers. It comes with a battery tube adapter so that you can go with the smaller batteries. It does come with a 21700 battery, but with this tube, if you have 18650 batteries, then you can put them in the flashlight and it will run fine. It also comes with a wrist lanyard, a spare pair of O-rings, and yeah, that's pretty much everything in there. So let's put this stuff all aside, bring the flashlight back into the picture. So just a couple of the key features before we start to dive in a little bit deeper. So it is a dual switch uh, mounted flashlight. There is a primary switch, and I call that primary because that's the on and off for everything is on the tail cap. It's also what makes this, or at least I think they classify it as a tactical flashlight so that it can be used in this uh, way. But the other button is right up front. Now this does not turn the light on and off. It is simply for changing lumen levels, and we'll explain more about that in a moment. So again, this is a tactical flashlight, but it does come with two Two distinct operating modes that you can change the flashlight back and forth from, a normal and a tactical mode. It does of course have a USB charging port underneath this quite thick rubber cover, thicker than a lot of them as well. Seems to set in quite deep, it gives you a nice sense of confidence that not only waterproof but you're not likely to use it, lose it. It does have a 3100 lumen turbo setting. Now that's quite high, but not overly high. There are a lot of flashlights in this category that can go that high, but it's nice to know this will reach that level. It does have, even though it is a thrower, so to speak, it has a very deep reflector that does have an orange peel uh, coating on the inside of it, orange peel finish. It is a thrower, but it still does have quite a bit of flood. So the flood is rated at 82 degrees with a point or spot beam of 26 degrees. And like all flashlights today, inside, or at least most flashlights that is, inside the mode switch or the lumen setting is a LED that will give you indication of the light being on and off as well as battery status. All right, let's go over the physical specifications for the C8L. So the weight of this flashlight with the 21700 battery installed is 8.6 ounces or 243 grams. The total length of the light is 6.14 inches or 156 millimeters. The diameter at the basal is 1.83 inches, which is 46.5 millimeters. And the diameter at the base is 25.8 millimeters, which is just one inch. It does have an IPX8 rating and a one meter drop protection. 
All right, let's go over the performance specifications for the C8L. So there are quite a few lumen settings plus additional settings for this light. So what I'll do is I'll go over them briefly and provide you the information, the additional information in the video description below this video. So to begin, it has its lowest setting at Eco, which is eight lumens, which is considerably brighter than a lot of the other flashlights that are on the market today. It has a runtime of 220 hours. It has a low setting of 100 lumens, which will run for 26 hours, a medium setting of 500 lumens, which will run for 6 hours and 58 minutes, virtually 7 hours. It has a high setting of 1300 lumens, which will run for 2 hours and 28 minutes. And it has a turbo setting, which will run for 3,100 lumens for one hour and 45 minutes. Now, I just want to point out at this point, before we go on to the other settings, is that there is no step down with this light. So it is turbo at 3,100 lumens for a straight one hour and 45 minutes without step down. Uh, that's different than just about every light that I have seen where the higher settings do uh, usually always have step downs and it's a heat protection circuitry. Uh, this flashlight does not have that. As a result, this will get very hot up at this end, it's extremely hot and something you have to be cautious of. Now, in fairness to Sofren, they do put a warning on here that says hot, so uh, be be forewarned how hot this can actually get. In addition to the lumen settings, it does have a strobe, which will run at 3,100 lumens, an SOS, which will run at 500 lumens, and a beacon, which will also run at 3,100 lumens. When it comes to operating the Sofren C8L, as I mentioned earlier, the flashlight has two distinct operating modes. They have both a normal and a tactical mode, also referred to in the company's literature as group one and group two. So what I will do is go through the normal mode, then show you how to switch over to tactical mode and talk about how that one works as well. There is a bit to go through, so uh, it took me a while to figure this out quite honestly, because as I I mentioned earlier, the instructions were not as clear as, well, at least not as clear as I would have liked them as, at least. Okay, so this, let's start with the simplest. To turn the light on or off, everything is done from the tail switch. So let's turn the light on. And you can see that there is a green indicator button that the flashlight has a full charge of light. And now to cycle through low, medium, high, press the button and you can cycle Oh, yes, it is. It's down at low. Hit it again, cycles to medium, and hit it again, it cycles to high. And if you turn the light off, again, using the tail cap, and turn it back on, you'll see that it does have a memory for the last mode used. All right, with the light turned on, you can double press the side switch to access turbo, or you can double half press the tail switch to access turbo. And I know that sounds a little confusing, but with a little bit of practice, you can use it either way quite effectively. So again, let's turn the light on. Hopefully this doesn't black out the camera too much, but if I double press, you can see that it does significantly raise the uh, level of intensity up, turning it back to high. Now, if I double half press, this is just a little awkward doing it from in front of the camera, you can see again that it does to go up to turbo. And when I say double half press, you can either hold it at the half press and just as a temporary measure for holding the light on, or you can uh, push the button completely in on the second press and keep turbo on. Either way you want to do it. I think most people will choose if you want to just to go to turbo momentarily, they'll use the tail cap. That's more the, of a tactical application for it, or tail switch, sorry. That's more of a tactical application for it. But if you're in normal operation and you just want to get that brightness, you're probably going to do it from the side switch. Okay, to access the strobe with the light already on or turned on, use the side switch, triple press it, and you access strobe. With the light on strobe, double press it to go through SOS, and double press it again to go into straight up beacon mode, double press it again, 
to move through each of the modes. And of course, again, turn the, use the tail cap to turn it on and off. If you want to access the eco mode, there's a two-step process. I know that seems a little cumbersome, but once again, when you get to practice with it and understand it, it works quite well, which is to press and hold the side button in, then press the tail button on, and you're at the flashlight's lowest of, of, of eight lumens. To switch from the normal mode or group one to the tactical mode of group two, you start with the flashlight turned on, doesn't matter what lumen setting you're on, then you press and hold the side button for three seconds and you'll see the light flash, and now you're in tactical mode. Immediately it came on in turbo. You can tell how dark and out the, the camera is adjusting to the light. If you press the side button, you'll cycle between high and turbo. That's the only two settings you have as far as lumens go in the tactical mode. To turn the light off, again, use the tail switch. Now, if you want to switch back from tactical to the normal operating mode, same procedure. While the flashlight is turned on, press and hold the side switch for three seconds. Again, it will flash, indicating it's back in normal operating mode. Now, if you want to access turbo with the flashlight in, oper in the tactical mode, start with the flashlight turned on and just cycle through high and or turbo and high and back and forth as I showed a minute ago. With the flashlight turned off, you can cycle or you can access turbo by again pressing the button halfway down or fully depressing it and having it stay on. I like the half press measure that this tail switch allows because it gives, gives me the option of just momentarily lightened up a dark area without having to commit to leaving the flashlight on. Accessing the uh, strobe is done again with the light turned on and then double pressing the side switch. And with the light turned on in strobe, you can cycle through the SOS and beacon again by double pressing. And a single press takes you back to whatever the last lumen setting was that you used. So as I mentioned a minute ago, the light does have a power level indicator built in and it is identified by an LED in the center of the side switch. So when you turn the light on, if it's a solid green, then you have above 70% power. Once the light drops below 70% power, it starts flashing green. When it drops below 40% remaining power, it, start, it turns red. And when it starts flashing red, you are well below 30%, indicating it is time to recharge the light. All right, haven't gone over the physical and performance specifications as well as the modes of operation for the Sofren C8L. There's only one thing left to do, and that, of course, is to get outside and do some testing. All right, I'm doing some nighttime testing for the Sofren C8L flashlight and I'm going to turn it on in its eco mode. Now for me it's just a little too dim to navigate the trail ahead. I'm not even sure how well that's showing up on camera. Maybe you can see it on the trees but uh, not really bright enough for navigating. Let's take it up to low. Now low, actually I did use this flashlight to walk into my location in the woods tonight on low in fact because that gives me quite a bit of penetration all the way around. Hopefully that's shown up well again on the camera. Take it up to medium, much, much brighter, up in the trees, all around, high, outstanding. I don't think I could see myself using anything above high very often. Let's take it up to turbo though. And just an order of magnitude brighter again. Back down to we go to eco, low, medium, and high. All right, just before we close out the video, I thought I would go over my opinions, my, giving you the pros and cons for the Sofren C8L. So starting with the pros right up front, having gone through this flashlight and looked it over in great, great detail, I have taken it apart, put it back together. I'm convinced that the quality of construction and components in this flashlight 
equals all of those of the other name brand flashlights, but at a less or lesser uh, cost, making this a high value flashlight. Uh, two other things that I think make this flashlight somewhat unique and can be considered pros. First off is the dual operating mode, having both a normal and a tactical mode, I think is a nice option to have. Personally, I'll be leaving it in the normal operating mode. I think it gives me more options. And again, I don't have a need for a tactical mode, but it's nice to know that you have access to both if you want to. Now, this is both a pro and a con, and that is the fact that there is no step down when you reach high or turbo. So they'll run at full lumen strength until the battery uh, runs out or you turn it off, of course. I think that is a pro in because it's unique, but it's also a con for a couple of reasons. It's a con because one, it's gonna consume your battery that much faster, but the greater of the two cons is just how hot this will get. Uh, it does get significantly hot. I don't know that it would blister skin, but I would not want to have this flashlight on and left in contact with anything that would be combustible or at least meltable. So I think that is a bit of a con. I think ultimately I would like to see step down circuitry in this light, but uh, well, I'll be interested in knowing what your thoughts on that are. Okay, uh, another con is the manual. Without question, the manual needs work. It definitely does. It's not it could use, should use, should have some updates. It needs better instructions. Hopefully my video will provide you some instructions if you think you're going to provide, use this light and it, ta it takes some time to get used to it. But uh, yeah, so I think the manual does need improving. And the last con is relative. It's certainly not a deal breaker by any means. It's just one of those things that's, I guess I'll consider this both a pro and a con. Because the tail switch protrudes slightly over the end of the flashlight, it won't tail stand. You can't set it on a tail uh, on, a, on a table and expect it to stand up. That's the negative. The pro of that is that it's a little easier to touch with your thumb. So some of the other flashlights I've had of recent have had the tail cap depressed slightly below the flashlight, which allows it to, to table stand, but just seems to make it a little harder for me to operate. So I do appreciate that. And the last con, and this is just, uh, you can't get around with this light, is the fact that you can only turn the flashlight on and off from the tail switch. That's not an option to using the side switch to turn it off. You can only turn it on and off with the tail switch. And you can only run through the lumen settings with the side switch. Uh, different than other flashlights, a bit unique. Is it a deal breaker? It's not something I would look for in a flashlight, but I've gotten used to it, and I guess I don't mind it too much. Okay, those are my opinions, my thoughts on this flashlight. I would be interested in knowing your thoughts as well. Do you have this light, and what has been your experience with it? If you have any questions or comments on this flashlight, then please put them in the, the comments section below. And as I mentioned, all the specifications and all the other information, as well as where you can find this flashlight, then I'll put that in the video description below. Okay, until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.